first look at the center and gigantoraptor. Love evolved event details. And custom skins, simple framework, and Mickey Mouse available. You right, kids, it's Ross Clark, and welcome to your regular ARC community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share, Rodan! Let's get into it. So, Community Crunch 396 dropped with a reveal of the Gigantoraptor in its true form, finally there in the flesh. 3D model and all that jazz, able to see it in perspective of what it's going to look like in game. Fluffy, big, giant. Look forward to seeing this. Looks like it's not going to be happy about us approaching and stealing its eggs. Yes, it's going to be an egg stealing tame and a great one to have for the center, seeing that we don't have an egg stealing tame for the center and give chase much like any other egg stealing tame in Ark. This is the only way you're going to be able to get one yourself and you won't be able to knock out tame these, suggesting wondering what else what might you get if you kill these perhaps it's just an easier way to get an egg but we can see on this picture on top of that a bunch of baby creatures suggesting its ability it has something regarding baby creatures that if it raises them within its radius they might become more powerful versions of what they currently are and could continue to be much more stronger creatures than perhaps you already know the one thing i do notice is there a baby argentavis that's right a thing that we all thought we was getting with asa flyers baby flyers and they're not around at the moment are we going to see the arrival of baby flying creatures with the center and with the arrival of the gigantoraptor can't wait to see this in the flesh with center when it apparently drops at the end of this month not gonna lie when i read co-founder jeremy's post on twitter last weekend i got the impression we were going to see some in-game shots of the center though to be honest to be fair it didn't actually elude we were going to see some physical in-game camera shots this is i guess in some way a first look at the center doesn't really reveal too much looks like it might be the floating island that we're on right now could be where the gigantoraptor is situated a good place for it really i feel like the floating island on the center deserves some draw to it to go to wander towards it so you might need a flyer to even get to there to get an egg to get away with egg besides that can't really pick apart anything else from the center I was hoping to see a more in-depth look of it and see if it looks any different. Did notice the logo, by the way. OG ASE logo, anyone? What's that all about? Who knows? But that's it in terms of a look at the center. Though it was mentioned to me by Baja, and I feel like this might have been here for a long time. The background of the mud menu screen actually shows a iteration of the center there for you to look at and view yourself. Though, once again... It's kind of a bit dim and dark and not too sure. This could even be the ASE version of Center for all we know. It's difficult to pick apart anything. But there you go, another shot of the Center. And I'm now wondering, was this always here or did it recently change? Just a reminder for anyone that forgot this was changed a while back now. It was meant to be the Shastasaurus for the Center. But now we're getting this and hopefully the Shastasaurus will be dropping with Ragnarok, which this was meant to be normally originally for. Speaking of mods, games, glams and guns, yes, skins are in the game now. Yes, custom cosmetic skins are now in the game for you to use at your own pleasure and will be available to use within official servers as well. A very interesting new concept that we still don't quite grasp and understand but are available for you to download right here right now with currently only three available one for player cosmetics one for s plus glass walls and one for tic-tac-toe and mickey the mouse as well as a skin you can use again unofficial within this cosmetics menu downloaded mod system you have now a game Fully different game mode to play. Here's Sanix playing it. I'll leave a link to his video in the description. And it looks really fun. Anyone a fan of Cuphead? I'm sure you're going to like this. And I'm definitely going to have a go at this very, very soon myself. But the fact is, it's nothing like Ark. It's, it's wonderful and just bizarre at the same time to see the engine used in any sort of capability you want. And create any sort of game 
that you want. Your imagination is seemingly your limitations. Here's me trying to make a Pac-Man game within the dev kit myself. Lots to be learned and understood yet. Don't quite understand yet how to actually create a skin to put it within the mod menu to download. And hopefully the dev kit will be eventually updated. It hasn't yet, as far as I know, to showcase these examples like this Mickey game, like the skins that are available so we know how to replicate the base build of those to make our own versions of those. It feels like the devs have made it sound like it's going to be really easy to make these skins to put in the game. But if it's still via the dev kit, whilst when you get an eventual grasp it is easy enough to put mods out there, it's still quite overwhelming when you first see it and try to figure it all out. So. Remains to be seen, I hope it is easier than making any mod currently, we'll have to wait and see. And how this all transforms this arc base platform to make anything you want a reality game now. The concern is that are we going to lose arc's identity in the process? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really torn. I love this. I do love this. I, I'm fully down to play this, but this is an arc. But again, is that a bad thing or a good thing? I'm really interested to hear your feedback, especially those who have played this as well. Comment below. Comment below. Bum, 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 bum. Speaking of that simple frame network that was implemented with the skins, well, there was a giant patch that dropped at the same time with some real outstanding notes that I think a few of you might have missed. There was a lot of things to go through with these patch notes. The biggest one, of course, a lot of you have been asking for for a very, very, very long time, single player save bug. Apparently that's been fixed now and would be very interested to hear if that has resolved your issue, those out there that were having it. Boss corpses can be harvested. Uh, the dragon, Mesopithecus and Broodmother in their arenas that every time you killed them, you got stuck inside their bodies and couldn't do jack. And especially now that you need to get the loot from a drop once you've killed said bosses, is a great new addition. Finally, harvestable bosses. Want to know how much hide and meat I get from taking off them? Fixed Sarko's bite attack being small because it couldn't attack anything when timed me and Vino found out ourselves in a dingle cup, couldn't do a single thing. That apparently has been fixed. So I've got to say the hit detection on other creatures such as the Stego still isn't quite there. I expect we might see more of these as time ticks on. A big one I had a lot of issues with, water dinos instantly dying when teleporting away apparently. That's been fixed now. A very interesting one that I certainly encountered a lot as well, corpses blocking projectiles and instant hit weapons. Hopefully now you can now harvest every corpse as well. I noticed with some larger creatures you couldn't harvest those corpses so fingers crossed that's been prevented. And of course, perhaps the most important one, disabling the use of various console commands used to gain visual advantages. Oh, needed to be done. And I get not everybody is doing this for a advantage in PvP. A lot of people are doing this to make sure they can play the game without it crashing every five seconds. But everybody does need to be on a level playing field and hopefully that will prevent this going forward. Some great patches, a great long list of patches, including transfers. Official are now allowed to transfer as well, but I'm believing that unofficial doesn't have it yet. And apparently next week, we might get that patch to allow unofficial servers to do the same too. But in doing so, who'd have thunk it? <laughs> there was an issue once again and needed a rollback on official servers, though it wasn't too far too long a couple of hours i believe but again a rollback is still a rollback a lot of people weren't happy about that especially of course with server transfers and characters being lost and you know in compensation you got a bit of three times <laughs> up to six times on arc pack for your servers for your official servers a few people are happy about that a few not a few disgruntles yeah <laughs> But let's put all that drama beside us and hug each other because Love Evolved is coming imminently where we can point and look at the stars or sunlight. With a warm embrace starting on Feb the 13th until Feb the 20th, seeing the things we loved before such as festive dino candy and box of chocolates, box of chocolates of course, giving you full health on your creatures, allowing them to instantly tame 
allowing them to instantly imprint and apparently now reducing mating cooldown by 20% and will be dropped by creatures intermittently when they're taming. On top of the skins you've seen before, we're getting some brand new structure skins, such as a heart spring hat, a Codorex sweater, and a love bed, which I can only assume is perhaps this, what these art characters are lying down on, though it looks more like a blanket. Don't know, maybe it's this, maybe it's not. But mentioned on top, there's apparently going to be love bugs as well as the coal in order for you perhaps to get some of these cosmetics and items. What are love bugs? Maybe they're ants. Oh no, that's going to be a nightmare. That give you love bug hearts. What are those? We don't know yet. And a Valentine's fishing rod. Interested to see what that does. Maybe it gets you better loot or helps you get some of these cosmetics items. Feels like definitely a more fleshed out version of the Love Evolved we know and I'm certainly welcome to it. I look forward to seeing this when it drops, learning, understanding what these new things do and probably may do a guide for you. So keep an eye on this channel if you want to keep an eye out for that. <laughs> With another shout out to a bunch of mods. Love these showcases, please do keep them coming, wildcard. Oh my God, nightmare fuel. <laughs> Wow, I kind of want to play. I want, I, want, <laughs> I want to try this. That looks horrific. Though it does make me wonder, can these be created as skins and applied? Oh my God, Demos Variants Tech Dino Pack. I like these too. That's it. That's your lot. Again, I want to understand how I make skins in the game. It's not clear. How do I do this? Wildcard, please teach us. Please tell us more information on how we do this so we can implement these ourselves. But, you know, if you want to learn a bit more about making mods, Garuga did a stream last weekend and is doing another one this weekend, I believe. And is doing another one on February the 17th at 10am, talking about the actual character BPs. So keep an eye out for that. And again, what's your thoughts on Mickey the Mouse in Ark? Have you played it? Very, very interested to hear what do you think about this and it being now a part of our and what this could open up in terms of the imagination and identity of arc and what this means for the future of arc center is hopefully still coming at the end of this month scorched earth is still dated for april the first lovely choice of date but i'm looking forward to the center can't wait for it it's certainly one of my most favorite maps ever just below Fiorda and maybe playing it in some capacity when it comes out. <laughs> wink, not wink. <laughs> so until the next one, my name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, up. Peace out. Talk.